Thank you, uh, Shaukat, and uh, thank you all for uh, being here today. And I apologise, I know I was supposed to be speaking at the previous session. Um, we had a, a few technical glitches uh, with timing today. But um, I would like to just start by acknowledging the uh, traditional owners of the land on which we meet, the Gadigal uh, people of the Eora mm -hmm. Nation. And I also want to acknowledge, uh, I know that they're not here, but the Governor, Marie Bashir, who opened um, the um, conference today, as well as I understand Minister Bowen was speaking to you earlier. Uh, as a special guest, um, and also I'd like to thank Shaukat Musselman and also Andrew Jakabowitz, which I think I got that right, Andrew, um, for their organisation of the conference, uh, and in particular Andrew and all his hard work th that he put in. I think the conference is a great opportunity for, um, for me to talk to you a bit about the role SBS plays uh, in today's Australia, which as we all know, uh, is far more multicultural and diverse than it has ever been before. Um, you may be familiar with SBS's current tagline, our marketing, which is seven billion stories and counting. Uh, at SBS, we tell the best stories humanity has to offer, uh, both about Australia and the world that we live in. Um, our content, we believe our content captures a broad range of truly global views uh, and perspectives which reflect the diversity of today's Australia. Historically, SBS has played a crucial nation-shaping role in the evolution of multiculturalism, in Australia and we have a key role to play in its ongoing success as a migrant country. Um, as some of you may be aware, SBS was established as a two-frequency radio network back in 1975 to address uh, a, government, uh, a government concern that ethnic communities would require details of the new Medi, uh, Medibank scheme in their own languages, effectively helping new migrants settle into their new adopted country. One of SBS's other important roles was to assist migrants maintain a connection with their country of origin and their cultural heritage. I know that I grew up watching and listening to SBS tell stories of my cultural heritage and, and its place within the wonderful diversity of Australia. In fact, I remember my grandfather used to force me to listen to SBS Arabic radio program. And as a young 10 year old, it was quite boring for me, but uh, I'm glad he did force me to do that. Um, but today, SBS is a modern multimedia network that operates five television channels, uh, SBS 1 and 2, uh, National Indigenous Television, and two other channels on Foxtel World Movies, which showcases films from uh, more than 200 different cultures, and Australia's only arts and entertainment channel studio. We have two radio stations broadcasting in 68 language, uh, languages, in-language news and current affairs programs, um, four digital music stations with in-language pop music, which I'll come back to in a moment, uh, and in April, we'll increase the number of languages that we uh, broadcast uh, to 74, continuing our proud tradition of being the most multicultural broadcaster in the world. Around 90% of our television content and all of our radio content is online. We have a wonderful catch-up service, SBS On Demand, as well as a range of apps across emerging platforms and devices. We also operate a distribution business for books, DVD, DVDs, and monthly magazine, uh, food magazine like Feast. Okay, so there's the SBS plug, um, but the point that is that we're no longer just the ethnic broadcaster. We've evolved to be a significant player in the Australian media landscape, and importantly, because Australia is so diverse, um, in, we now define ourselves as being there for all Australians. Our charter and our purpose is to inspire all Australians to explore and appreciate our diverse world, and by doing so, contribute to an inclusive and cohesive society. And in doing that, we also seek to provoke debate, push boundaries, surprise audiences and inspire change. All of us here know that the media is crucial to social cohesion as it shapes the, ways we, the way we think about each other and understand the world around us. Back when SBS was first established, wages for a flight back to the home country were quite outrageous. It took a long time to save up to, to fly home um, to the homeland. Phone calls were very expensive and unreliable. It took a couple of months actually to book with Telstra to do a phone call over Christmas to, to talk to your families. Uh, back in the home country, and letters took weeks not uh, to arrive rather than days. And there was no real access to electronic media as we understand it today. What that meant was that the migrants had no choice but to immerse themselves in, in, and participate in Australian society. For many migrants, like my parents, uh, who came from Egypt, SBS was a trusted source of news and information in a language my grandfather could understand, for example, a, f a familiar voice speaking in a language they could understand helping them participate better in the national conversation and integrate into Australian society successfully. The reality today is that it is possible for new Australians to say, stay <coughs> completely connected to their country of origin through satellite channels, social media and online on the internet. Because it is increasingly possible to rely on country of origin media for, 
news, information, entertainment, SBS's role is changing, it's evolving, to be more focused on ensuring migrants can access Australian news and current news and information and current affairs in languages that are familiar to help them participate in Australian society. We know that today's second and third generation mig migrations in particular, migrants in particular, are easily able to access news from their original uh, home through satellite TV and the internet and on the huge amount of devices and platforms available to them. That's why we focus our in-language uh, radio, uh, which has become about providing news and information about Australia, but in the, uh, in the in-language. We also know that younger generation migrants want to stay connected to culture, but they are doing it in a more con contemporary way uh, than their parents and grandparents. That's why we've invested in a new suite of in-language uh, pop music stations. We've started with SBS Pop Asia, uh, which was so successful, SBS turned it into a Sunday morning video hit style uh, program. And last year we launched Pop Arabi, uh, in-language Arabic music, and, and Pop Desi, uh, playing Bollywood music from India and South Asia. The fact is that in a culturally diverse society like ours, media can either make us feel we belong or prevent us from doing so. While others in the industry may be challenged by convergence, technology and increased competition for audience attention, the digital explosion uh, has vastly expanded our capacity to extend our reach and services to communities. The explosion of satellite and internet services mean that those who wish to can get access to as much home country media as they want. T technology has the potential to literally transform how we deliver in-language uh, services to Australia's Cal communities. You can see that potential when you look at our virtual community centre for Chinese Australians and our recently launched Your Language app for mobiles. We hope to be able to extend this service to other large language communities. We also are excited about the launch of our dual language app for, for the mobile phones as well. As I mentioned, we will soon broadcast in 74 languages, which follows an extensive review of the current radio schedule uh, to bring the languages into line with the demographic makeup of today's Australia as informed by the 2011 census. That's, our, that's over double the number of languages that the BBC Worldwide does, uh, which recently reduced the number of languages to its broadcasters to 27. It's interesting to look at the top 10 languages other than English from over 15 years ago and then look at them today and, and the changes that you can see. Mandarin has jumped from number seven to number one and Hindi wasn't even in the top 10 languages in 1996. And we've re recently reviewed our schedule to reflect these changes. The Asian Century White Paper recommends that all students should have access to at least one priority Asian language, Chinese, Mandarin, Hindi, Japanese, and or Indonesian. It also projects that by 2025, four of the 10 largest economies in the world will be in our region. China first, India third, Japan fourth, and Indone Indonesia 10th. <laughs> Asia is likely to account for almost half the world's economic output, with China accounting for about half of that. SBS already today broadcasts in 23 Asian languages. Uh, so we are more than ready to help equip Australia to be more active in Asia. On one of SBS's important pillars is our news and current affairs. SBS delivers Australia's only local news bulletin with a real focus on world events. World News Australia gives Australians an in-depth insight into world events, but through an, an Australian lens, a particularly Australian lens. And we cover current affairs through our Insight Program and Dateline, which examines international current affairs. SBS is achieving a contribution to multiculturalism, unlike any other media outlet, as you would rightly expect by prom promoting multiculturalism positively. We use subtitles for interviewees speaking a language other than English in news and current affairs stories to preserve the language. The common practice in Australia, however, and indeed with most global networks, is to drown the native languages out with an English voiceover over that original language. Whilst there have been many improvements, the reality is that the reporter base or the journalist base in mainstream media in Australia still does not represent our true demography. SBS actively recruits people from a diverse background. Each year we take in graduates and we ensure that they represent Australia's diversity. On a day-to-day -day basis, SBS must take into account considerations of how we give voice to our diverse communities whilst being respectful and sensitive to cultural, ethnic and racial issues and sensitivities. That's not always easy, it's quite difficult. And it's fair to say that we do get regular complaints from those who would sit at the extremes on many of the world's hot issues. What we also try to do is put the issues in the national debate and into an international context as well. The challenge for SBS is being consistent with how we balance these considerations and sensitivities with our commitment to delivering content that still provokes debate and inspires change. 
We also share the world's best news with Australian audiences through Worldwatch, which are all the different uh, language, in-language services from around the world. In conclusion, I've talked mostly about what we do on TV, radio and online, but the fact is that SBS's impact within multicultural communities extends far beyond that. We see a role for ourselves in ensuring the ongoing success of Australia as a migrant nation, and we are involved in a huge amount of community programs which, which we think link closely with the work that, that those of you in the in-language media are trying to achieve. For example, as, as you may know, we have secured the rights to the domestic A-League. We've just partnered with Football Federation Australia and the Department of Immigration and Citizenship on a new initiative around Harmony Day, which will roll out a program giving a younger generation of Australians from diverse backgrounds access to the champions of the game and a chance to get involved in the sport. We also do a lot of research around how people from diverse backgrounds engage with and consume media in today's media landscape. Two years ago, we started a program called Cultural Intelligence CQ, which is a forum series and online resource around media practice, particularly as it relates to Australia's cultural diversity. That's just to name a few initiatives. So in conclusion, hopefully you can see uh, how SBS has evolved over the past 30 years to not just speak to migrants, but to engage with Australians to share in and understand the value of our diversity. We're helping all Australians, no matter where they are from or when they arrived into, in this country, understand and value the importance of this diversity. And we look forward to working closely with all of you in continuing to be a positive impact on inclusiveness and the overall social cohesiveness of communities in today's Australia. Thank you very much.